we want to use long division to find the quotient, we have a two-digit number divided by a one-digit number. In this example, we'll use the traditional long division algorithm to find this quotient. The first step is to write the quotient in long division form, which is this form here, where these two division problems are equivalent, where A is a dividend, B is a divisor, and C is the quotient. So we want to write 76 divided by 4 as 76 divided by 4 in this form here. And now to begin, we only consider the leftmost digit of the dividend, which is the 7 and the 76. We need to determine how many 4s there are in 7. And because there's one 4 in 7, we place a 1 above the 7 in the quotient, and now we multiply by the divisor. 1 times 4 equals 4, so we place a 4 below the 7, and we subtract. 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. For the next step, we bring the next digit down in the dividend, which is the 6. So we bring the 6 down, and now we have 36. And now we ask, how many 4s are there in 36? Because 9 times 4 equals 36. There are 9 4s in 36. So 9 is the next digit in the dividend, which we place above the 6 in the quotient. Now multiplying by the divisor, 9 times 4 equals 36. So we place a 36 below this 36, and we subtract. 36 minus 36 is 0. And because we have used all of the digits in the dividend, we're done. This 0 represents the remainder of 0, and therefore our quotient is 19. This division problem tells us there are 19 4s in 76. Or because 76 divided by 4 is equal to 19, 19 times 4 equals 76. Again, 19 copies or 19 groups of 4 equals 76. I hope you found this helpful.